92.7 WOBM with Adele on a Friday morning. It is March the 2nd, 741 is our time, 41 degrees. Kevin Williams is in studio with us this morning as we remember Bob Levy today. And good morning again, Kevin. Good morning, guys. We we thought we'd start this time around. We, we talked earlier and we thought this time around we'd start with your first memories of meeting Bob way back when here with WOBM. So it's July of 1979. I'm 23 years old. I'm working at another radio station. And uh, I'm a little bit wild and crazy at that point in my life. Mm -hmm. And the general manager of the station shows up and gets in touch with me and says, we'd like to bring you over to WOBM to do an interview where we want to hire our first full-time sports director. Oh, cool. And... I think of WOBM at that time as a kid growing up. Well, you know, the, they played, you know, the older music, and uh, uh, I knew about the sports, but I said, I don't really think I'd kind of fit in. You know, I'm a little bit, you know, younger and crazier. <laughs> so the guy said, well, look, nothing to lose by an interview. So I, I show up, uh, got dressed up. Put a suit on. Wow. Uh, pale blue, by the way. It looked, it looked like one of those uh, prom suits oh, from the 70s, word. right? Very nice. And I show up in our office in Bayville in July mm -hmm. of 1979. I meet the general manager at the door, and he walks me back, and he says, before I talk to you, I'd like you to bring in, introduce you to our sales manager, Bob Levy. Now, I had heard Bob's voice on the radio. Sure. More for doing sports, mm -hmm. which he had done for a little while. Uh, he's going to talk to you first. And I, sit, I shake his hand, and he gives me a sit down. I said, uh, hi, Mr. Levy, nice to meet you. And he says, I'm going to ask you three questions. Yeah, All right. God. First question was, and I remember this, yeah. who is, who's the football coach at Brick High School? Mm. And I answer, Warren Wolf. He said, who is the well-known basketball coach at Lakewood High School uh, who led them? I said, Bob Nastis. And he said, name one player from the 1975 Little League team game that he broadcast on WOBM, the championship oh. game. And I said, well, I know a couple, but I'll give you Dion Lowe. He picked up the phone, called the general manager, and said, he's the guy. Wow. And that Ooh. was my first meeting with Bob Levy. I went in the back, <laughs> talked to the general manager. They offered me the job. I told him I needed time to think about it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Three weeks later, I walked into work the first day. Very nice. Wow. Wow, look <laughs> so, at that. And you guys really, truly were best friends. I mean, yeah, you used to hang out. You know, out there was and... a, let's face it, there was a little bit of an age difference. Yeah. Uh, but in those days, we were really, really close. We ran together. We used to run mm -hmm. on the beach. We used to jog five miles on the beach. We wow. went to the beach a lot together. I was going to say, going to the beach, did you get a shot of uh, the Speedo, the Bob oh, Levy Speedo? <laughs> you know, uh, Marianne made a comment this morning on Facebook on a picture I posted mm -hmm. of Bob sitting with my daughter when right. she was two or three, she's yeah. now 26. Uh -huh. wow. And he used to wear the Speedo, and he <laughs> and he had a fanny pack. Remember those fanny yes. packs? Because he liked to keep his cigarettes yeah. in there. <laughs> and he had he used the old-fashioned, what was it that people used to use for sun, uh, that was it, not iodine or something like that, they mixed with baby oil. The like, zinc? Whatever it was, something he like would that. mix his own formula, and he yeah. would put it on, and oh, he would yeah. say, oh am gosh. I not a bronze Adonis? <laughs> <laughs> I, and, I still remember those pictures of the Speedo. And Marianne said the minute she met him, he said, that's the end of the Speedo era. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, uh, had a lot of fun, great memories. I'm going to, you know, get through all of these tough days, which they are for everyone. But I'm going to just try and think about the fun times we had together because yeah. uh, it really did. Some of the uh, catchphrases I did in my blog this morning that I remember Bob doing, and these are, I, I called them Bobisms. He would say, a tragic figure. Yes. <laughs> a tragic figure. Absolutely. It was one of his favorites. One of his favorites. Yes. Another one, horrific weather. <laughs> it's horrific weather. <laughs> and another one, this was really when you made Bob's, you know, list, a despicable human being. <laughs> Absolutely. He loved the word. You are, at, Sean, you hit three good ones. Yes. If I had a dollar for every one of those, I could retire tomorrow. Oh, my. <laughs> goodness and there were in his mind there were a lot of despicable human beings there were you, you'd always hear of you know, a despicable human being uh, you hit but, it uh, good yeah, yeah but we those talked are... about this earlier but you know it's always about the men in this building that do the bob levy voice what is that <laughs> well we have listeners writing in that could still hear his voice his you know voice and it was so very distinctive his you know Absolutely. his enunciation everything was very bob very distinctive i'll tell you a quick funny story about his voice I used to t tell him when I listened to him when I was younger, when I knew who he was, I said, my goodness, I thought you had the worst voice in radio. Well, it turns out people thought we sounded alike. Ah. And there was an occasion or two in which I called his home and the phone was answered, I believe, by Marianne, in which she started talking to me like it was Bob. No. Really? And I said, stop right there. <laughs> 
So uh, wow. I told him later in life, you know, maybe your voice wasn't all that bad. <laughs> For those who are joining us this morning, we're talking oh. with Kevin Williams. Uh, Bob Levy passed away at the age of 86 yesterday. Mm. Obviously, for those who didn't know, Bob had recently suffered a fall, and this sort of led to where he ended up in the hospital for these last couple of days. Yeah, and but we were all shocked. I, yeah. I don't think anyone saw it coming yesterday, uh, but it was shocking. It came on the 50th anniversary of <sighs> WOBM-FM. Wow, a station it would have been he, a day. Can you believe yeah, that? Yeah, a station he clearly helped build. I mean, he's. I think you said it. He's the foundation uh, for what we are today. So sure. uh, uh, we'll always we'll always remember this day so, mm. for good reasons and for sad reasons. Sad yeah, reasons. very Absolutely. much so. And every time you think of the uh, anniversary of the radio station, is also <sighs> the day that Bob Levy passed. As but, someone uh, said to me, it's the day talk. Died. Remember, it was the old day the music died. Yes, yesterday might have been the day that talk died a little bit. Mm. So. As Bob would say, uh, you know, he's, uh, you know, looking down. And uh, what was it Suey said to us when we asked him what he wanted for the next 50 years of the radio station? He Franklin, said, Frank frankly, I don't give a damn. Gone with the wind. Yeah. <laughs> I know one thing. He's looking down at a lot of despicable people. Yes, exactly. And he might uh, even be calling himself a... a tragic figure at this point. He really would. He really would be. You're right. But, a fantastic uh, thing, though, to wake up. We, wake, we woke up with him for so many years yeah. working in the Bayville and even here in the Tom Trevor yeah. office and then you know young generations listening to him on Topic Gay but just to be able to be in his presence and we got to speak with him every day yeah. it was a gift yeah it, it was I uh, said in really my uh, my blog Kevin that I spent more mornings with Bob and Marianne and yourself uh, than I have with some family members <laughs> because for the past 22 years we both you know sort of started he started with Bob and Marianne and at the time I did we were up every morning together you know literally a few feet apart especially in Bayville Sure. Yeah. Oh, We'd absolutely. see them every move they'd make. You know, know, in our business and the longevity we all have, honestly, mm -hmm. which is unusual in our business yeah, sure. to be in the same place, that would, that's our second family. You know, mm -hmm. our first family is who we have at home. The second mm -hmm. family is our sure. second home, which is now here. Yeah. You spend a lot of quality time with those people, and mm. we certainly did with Bob over the years. Yep, oh, definitely. Goodness. Well, Kevin, you'll have more coming up with your hometown view next hour as we continue to remember Thanks, Bob Levy. Thank you, If you, you want to call in with your uh, comments uh, for Bob, 237-WOBM is the number to call. We'll come back, check weather and traffic next on WOBM. Hi, Dave Symanchik here, attorney at law, state.